today's video, we are going to talk about how to access a repeater. This is for ham radio operators that just got into the hobby on 2 meters uh, VHF. And this repeater is located in Williamboro, New Jersey. And it's on the frequency, as you can see here, on 20, uh, 140, excuse me, 146. 925 megahertz uh, VHF on 2 meters and how to access a repeater here on the Yezu FT2900R take your microphone as you can see here and it's all nice and lighted up how fancy is that hold an A you'll see that tone frequency comes up which is 52 do not hold an A just push it in and you'll see that all these different PL tones will show up. Um, this one just happens to be set on 131.8 hertz. And to keep this setting, which will be the PL tone, keep this setting, just hold an A. And it will go right back to the frequency display as you see 146.925. And I can access the repeater no problem using 5 watts. Um, I usually never have to use 30 watts unless the repeater is really far away or I'm using simplex. I usually use repeaters, don't use simplex. But repeaters are very fun, especially to the new ham radio operators. Especially if you have a decent antenna, such as a, I really rec highly recommend a J-pole antenna and get it as high as you can. Mine's up 25, 30 feet, and I get all the local repeaters crystal clear using 5 watts. And some distant ones, depending on you know how high they are, what kind of antennas they got, or whatnot. I get them with 5 watts crystal clear and they might be farther than the other ones. So it all depends on the height, your height advantage and well, how many watts you're doing on your radio, what kind of radio you got. And the antenna is everything and height is might. Just remember that. Key word. Height is might. Anyway, also how to access a repeater. You'll see right next to the T and you'll see low power. I'm using 5 watts and the frequency and the memory. It's on my memory channel 1 as you can see. Um, right here is the minus, and the access the rolling ball repeater, you have to do minus 600. Now, you can go on repeaterbook.com, and that's a great repeater site. Uh, show me all the local repeaters in the area. Um, show me nearly everything I need to know about all that stuff. So, anyway, uh, let's see if somebody's on this repeater. I'm not sure if anyone's on this frequency. But this is how you access a repeater. This is KD2CIJ monitoring. This is the WB2YGO repeater. And that's the repeater identifying itself. And I see if anyone transmits in the next few seconds. I take it no one's on this repeater. Well, that's a bummer. But you heard how, um, if you notice, listen to this. It comes right back with the signal of the repeater, which is all S9 units. Perfect reception on the William Burrow repeater. And let's see if I can access another repeater here. I had the HF rig in here. I'll uh, be waiting forever for that. Uh, let's try the Newton Square repeater, and let's see what the PL tone is. Ah, uh, the PL tune, PL tone is the same as the Willingboro, 131.8 hertz. And this one is plus 600. So to access this, you'd have to have plus 600 here in the Philadelphia area, and let's give it a try. This is KD2CIJ monitoring. The repeater was coming back and I get crystal clear reception and it was using only 5 watts. And it looks like no one's coming back right now. What a shock. Alright, uh, let's try I mean, this There one. was an alternate today. Turn down Two rows it. over. And I was the only guy on it. And I flew up that road and got back on, on the other side of the accident. It was a wonderful thing. KD2 CIJ testing. Oh, loud and clear. Well, that, that paid for the GPS right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm backed up 
against my uh, garage door here. Uh, and I forgot what I wanted to say. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that it uh, really helps out on. I know what I wanted to say. I, I don't have my HF rig in the car on this last trip, but I used to have a small Sony portable with me. And that's broken, and I didn't think to bring my big Sony 2010 with me this time. Never thought of it, and so I, I couldn't hear the uh, Citizen Band. So, uh, yeah, that's a very valuable thing to have that uh, monitoring capability. Of. Like, I think it's, was it 19? And I didn't have that. There was one backup. All right, 7-3, over to, uh, I think it's CIX. Two. WA3 KLR clear. No, it was uh, KD2CIJ. I'm just seeing how my signal is right now. Uh, as you said, crystal clear on the repeater. Are 100% copyable into the repeater, which is located in Roxborough. I'll copy that. Thanks. Uh, this is Matt here in Cinnamon's in New Jersey, by the way. And I got a Yezu FT2900 um, using 5 watts. And I got a J pole and homemade J pole antenna, copper tubing, and it's up uh, 30 feet in the air. And I guess it's getting out pretty good. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, Matt. Well, by your call sign, you sound like you're a reasonably new hand. So I'll give you a little piece of advice. When there's a conversation underway, you don't have to say radio check or testing. Just just put your call sign out. And join in the conversation. And uh, that's all there is to it. It's that simple, it's that easy. And, uh, okay, I turn left here. All right. Uh, I'm getting directed somewhere that I've never been before by my GPS and my phone, so. I think I better pay attention. Name here is Steve, by the way. Call is WU3I. And, uh, on my way to pay my respects to a, a neighbor who, uh, who passed away, so. Let me uh, see if I can figure out the rest of the way there. Alright, Steve. Well, nice talking to you, and uh, sorry for your loss. And uh, thanks for the, uh, the yeah, I guess you say radio check or whatever. But uh, I'm actually doing a YouTube video right now on how to access uh, two-meter repeaters for the, to the, for the uh, ham radio operators on uh, YouTube. Uh, my YouTube account is KD2CIJ, which is my call sign. So, But uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And 73s to you. And sorry for your loss. And I'll be back on, I don't know, sometime tomorrow or whatnot. I get on different repeaters. So, All right, Steve, nice talking to you. 73s, KD2CIJ, clear. Yeah, man. I'm back anytime. W3I Mobile. Turn the volume down, and that's how you access a repeater, and that's how you talk to somebody on a repeater, just say your call sign and all that stuff, so. All right, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I sincerely appreciate that. And this is KD2CIJ, Matt, and I am clear.